Hi guys, okay, this video is going to be addressing linked lists in C++. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just quickly open a new project, a Windows 32 application, and we can just call this one linked lists. I'm going to try to go a little bit fast because this is quite a long video. Uh, I'm just going to try to shorten it as much as possible. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to right click and say add new item. A C++ file and we can just call that main.cpp click add and wait for that one to open and we're going to want to hash include our IO stream and using namespace std and we're going to have our int main which ret return zero again we'll get to that a little later and right at the top here we're going to want to declare struct called node which is going to refer to each element in the actual linked list and in this we're going to want a number which is the data part and we're going to want a pointer to the next node in the linked list so that's what we've got up there then we're going to need a couple of functions because we're going to be doing this specific example using um, functional decomposition, so just procedural programming. And so we're first going to code a couple of subs up here for the different functions. So we're going to have a bool is empty. We're going to have a char menu. We're going to have a void insert as first element. Going to have a void insert. We will have a void remove and Lastly, a void show list. Okay, you'll see now what these different parameters mean, but we're going to be passing this one the head. Okay, that's the first the first element in the linked list. The menu doesn't need anything. The inserter's first element is going to need a head. It's going to need the last item or last element in the list and it's also going to need the value that we'd like to insert in this case a int number and these will need to be passed by reference because we're going to be making changes to them uh, swap these two around quickly and the insert function will need the exact same and the remove function will just not need the actual number. Our show list would basically just need the head, but we're going to be calling it current because it makes a lot more sense in the actual code itself. So now that we've got our prototypes over here, let's just quickly code the stubs for the function definitions. So just quickly remove all the semicolons. And then just add our curly braces. Just get everything looking nice and neat before we start coding. It's always important, it makes coding a lot easier. And almost done there. Okay, so we want to make sure that in our main function we have two pointers. As I already mentioned, we're going to have the head and we're going to initialize it to null because there is currently nothing in the list and then we're going to have a last which is also going to be initialized to null because there's nothing in the list so let's go up and start with our is empty which we know receives head so in order to see if the list is actually empty we'll say does head equal null. So if head equals null, 
what we're going to want to do is just quickly return true. If that's not the case, we are going to want to return false. And that's our is empty function, short and sweet. Our menu, I'll get back to this one at the end. Our insert is first element. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do here is just create a temporary node. So we can just call that one temp. We're going to say new node. Then we'll say temp. Okay, we want to dereference the number part, basically assigning the data field of this element a value. So we'll be passing it or assigning this local variable number to the actual node's number part. And then we'll be doing a similar thing to the next pointer. So we'll set the next point over here to null though, because this is the only element and the next value will now be null. Okay, once we've done that, we want to then set the head, which is the first value in the, uh, the linked list, to temp. And then we also want to set the last to temp, because currently the first and the last are the same, because there's only one value in the linked list. So now in our insert function, the first thing we're going to want to do is just quickly have a look if the list is empty or not. So if the list is empty, then what we're going to do is we are actually going to just insert as first element, passing at the head, the last, and the number. Else, insert as first element. Else what we're going to do is the first three steps will be same, the same over here. So once again creating a temporary node, dereferencing the number value to the number value of the local function, and then setting the next to null, because this will now be the newest value in the uh, the list, so there won't be a value after this one. Then what we'd like to do is we would like to set the previous last value, so the next part of that, to this specific, this temp node, to this one's memory address. So to do that, we'll just dereference next and assign temp to that. Then we'll update the last to point to this node. So that step there basically joins or links the list, or the elements in the list. Okay, so then over here onto our next function, the remove function. What we're first going to want to do is just a quick check is empty. And we're going to be passing that one the head. If it's empty, we're just going to see out a quick message. The list is already empty. Okay. Else, if there's one item in the list, so if head is equal to tail, or sorry, to last, What we then want to do is we want to delete head, then we want to assign head to null, uh, to null, and then we also want to just assign tail to null. Now if there's more than one item in the list, what we're going to want to do here is create a temporary node. So node temp, we want it to be equal to head. Then we'll move head onto the next one. So we'll say head is equal to head next. 
and then we'll delete our temp. Okay, so that's our remove function. Then I'll show list. As you've probably guessed, we're first going to check if it's empty. Just pass in that head. Or in this case, as previously mentioned, we're going to be calling it current over here. So if that's the case, all that we're going to do is just quickly see out the list is empty. Else, what we'd like to do is just quickly see out if the list contains and then we're going to have to loop through our list and to loop through our list we'll basically be doing a check of the memory location so what we'll do is we'll say current is not equal to null so it will take the first the first value which this is actually head so that's the first value in the list and it will see every time it sees that the value is not null it will then actually go and see out the current number and then we just want to end line and after that we want to move it on to the next value so we'll say current equals uh, current next oh, sorry not number next and that's that. Okay, so then we can quickly come up here and code our menu. So the first thing we're going to need in our menu is just a char choice. Then we're going to see out menu. Then we'll see out one dot uh, add an item just copy and paste this quickly two is going to be remove an item three is going to be show the list and four is going to be exit. Okay, then after that we would like to see in our choice. And then we'd like to return our choice to the main function. Okay, so in our main function we've already got our two pointers. Then what we're going to need is just our char choice and our int number. Okay, so in our main function we're going to create a quick menu. So we're just going to have a do while our choice is not equal to 4. I'm using the single quotation marks there because 4 is a character. So what we're going to do is say choice is equal to menu. So just to call our menu function and assign a value to choice. And then once we've got choice, we want to do a switch statement on choice. So we'll just quickly switch choice. We'll have a case of 1. If it is one, then we would like to add an item. So just display a message. Uh, please enter a number and then we would like to see in our number and then we would like to insert our number. And to insert our number we need to pass the head, the last and the number. 
Okay, after that we can just quickly break. And then we have a case for two. And if it is case two, we would like to remove. So we can simply remove, passing at the head and the last. And we'll just break again. Then we have case three. Our case three is to show the list. So we would just like to show list. And that one we are passing the head as well. So we pass it here as head, but it's been received as current. And after that we would just like to break. And I'm not going to have a case of four. Instead I'm just going to default it to anything else. We would just quickly say C out system exit. Just a short little exit message. Okay, now we can quickly compile and hope for the best. And then start without debugging. Okay, so the menu and the interface isn't going to look nice right now. I mean, I didn't worry about any system pauses or clears or anything like that. Um, so let's just quickly have a look. If I type 3, we should see a little message. The list is empty. That's correct. We try remove an item. It will say the list is already empty. So then we can try add an item. So let's add 56. Then let's add another item. 15. Let's add another item, 48, and let's add another item, 67. Okay, let's show our list. So we can see 56, 15, 48, 67, so that looks good. Then if we remove an item, we should see 56 is gone. So let's show the list again, and there you can now see it's 15, 48, 67. And if we remove another item, we should see that 15 is gone. Let's press 2, remove another item. And there you can see 15 is gone again. So that pretty much shows that our linked list is working. And I do hope that that manages to help you guys. Thanks for watching.